Hey, we're here. Yay! Yay! Disney's Hollywood Studios. What's up Thrill Seekers? So today, my dad and I are at Disney World. Today we are visiting Hollywood Studios. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. I haven't been here since 2015 was the last time I was here. So I'm excited to ride Slinky Dog Dash, um, go inside Galaxy's Edge, and ride Rise of the Resistance, all of that kind of stuff. Um, right now, we have a flash pass, or a fast pass, for um, Rock and Roller Coaster. So we are going to head on over to Rock and Roller Coaster. Um, after that, most likely we'll just um, go to Tower of Terror, because it's like right next to it. Uh, and then we'll kind of see where we go from there. I think we're going this way. Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Boom, the famous Hollywood Tower of Terror. Man. Super excited to ride this, um, but for now, we're going to go on up this way, take a left, and go on over that way to um, Rock and Roller Coaster. 76. Remember the uh, upside down. I get out in a couple hours. Okay, yeah. Let's go. I'm using a thing to like shield it because it's raining and this is definitely not a water boot camp. So let me just get under this thing. But yeah, fast pass on it. Look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> Glad we're skipping the line. Man, so excited. By the way, I do have my GoPro so I can record some awesome reverse POVs and POVs and all of that kind of stuff. Also, right here, we're going to go ahead and remove your ponchos or rain gear at this time. It is not allowed to be worn in our next studio, so please remove your ponchos or rain gear at this time. Thank you. Hey, don't mind us. We'll be finished in just a minute. Hey, yeah. hey, what? hey! What? Hey, what? Hey, hey! What are you guys still doing here? You were supposed to be at a show across town. But I got you a really fast car. Okay, wait. It's out in the alley. Here it is. There we go. Rock and Roller Coaster. There's my dad and I's picture. Um, and it's time for the, our next ride, which I'm assuming will be Tower of Terror. So let's do it. When we walked in to, uh, to Rock and Roller Coaster, it was rainy, and now <laughs> it's nice and sunny. So there's Florida for you. Tower of Terror is a 45 minute wait. So, we are just gonna go down, do the normal entrance, um, because apparently we have to book, oh, sorry, we have to book two other fast passes and then we can get another like top tier. So, anyways, Tower of Terror. Hello. Thank you. We don't have to ride it. Oh, yeah. Honestly. Yay, Hollywood Tower of Terror. Both shadow and substance. Dreams and ideas. You just crossed over into the twilight zone. Is this the rest of you? My only for me. Rose. 
six, you'll be on the back left. Wow. Here we are. Let's do it. Uh -huh. You were the passenger side of most incoming electric was sent into your very own episode of the Twilight Zone. Whoa. I remember the first time that I wrote this, I was so scared. Don't stand here. a very zoomed in picture of your face. Um, we just got off of a Hollywood Tower of Terror. Oh yeah, so that was super fun. Um, definitely one of the best rides here. Um, and I, what are we doing next? Maybe going into, um, what's it called? Uh, Toy Story Land and going to um, Slinky Dog Dash. That's what it is, okay. So, yeah, we're gonna go on over to Slinky Dog Dash, take a ride on that, because um, neither of us have been on that yet, so let's do it. Alrighty, we're walking on over to Toy Story Land, which I believe is around the corner here. Um, we just made a boarding group on the app for uh, Galaxy's Edge, um, what's it called, Rise of the Resistance. Um, so, yeah, we're going, we're hopefully that'll be a thing before we leave, um, but we'll see. I can see just a little bit of Galaxy's Edge poking through the trees there. Hey. Hey, howdy, hey! Andy set up his coaster truck, and Slinky Dog is ready to help you ride like the wind! <laughs> and that's what we're gonna ride, uh, Slinky Dog Dash. Here it is in all its glory. Looks pretty fun. Obviously still a family coaster, but it definitely looks fun. Let's do it.
big finale. We just did Slinky Dog Dash, you can see it kind of right over there. Um, we're going to get food now, um, and then we're going to go into Galaxy's Edge. Um, something that we actually didn't know before today was um, about like the boarding groups for uh, Rise of the Resistance, so hopefully we'll be able to ride it while we're here. Um, theoretically, we will be able to, if not, uh, Maybe we can like sneak in with some of the other groups, I don't know, something. Um, Cause they really do want to ride wider the rise of the resistance. Um, but anyways, right now we're going to go get food and, and then like I said, go on into Galaxy's Edge. Little meat and greet. All right, let's find a nice place to eat. I guess my dad is going this way, which is fair. Cause this is a place to eat. <laughs> Here we go. So both of us are gluten free. So they made us a gluten free sandwich, which is awesome. Um, we are at, I don't even know what this place is called, um, but it's like kind of right across from um, Slinky, da uh, Slinky Dog Dash. So yeah. Um, Hopefully it's pretty good. We just got like a little breakfast sandwich. <laughs> so we finished eating. I found out the place was called Woody's Lunchbox and it's right over there. And now we are heading into the Toy Story entrance of Galaxy's Edge. Oh yeah, hopefully we'll be able to ride Rise of the Resistance because uh, we didn't get a boarding group until recently. But hopefully we can like smuggle ourselves in with another boarding group. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, Rise of the Resistance, or Galaxy's Edge overall, um, we'll be able to ride Millennium Falcon, so that'll be fun. Oh yeah, super excited. Big reveal. Here we go. This looks awesome. There's Millennium Falcon, right there, which has an insanely long wait. Um, literally, the line is spilling out into the midway, which is kind of insane. I think that's a six. 165 minutes, which is literally like almost three hours. That is insane. Well, I guess we'll see if we'll ride this or not. Wow. That looks awesome. Actually, this is the end of the line for Millennium Falcon, which is on the other side of the park. So, that's interesting. Alright, anyways. We are going, though, over, I believe, this way um, to Rise of the Resistance. My dad, my dad has made the decision to uh, get into the Millennium Falcon line, which is right, the start of the line is right there, and we are on literally the other side of the park, um, of, or sorry, the other side of Galaxy's Edge from Millennium Falcon. It goes all the way down there, snakes all the way around, it's, this is crazy, um, so. Well, we'll catch back with you in like two hours once we're actually inside of the queue line. Well, hello. So my dad is waiting in line for Millennium Falcon, but while he does that, um, because we're not actually in the actual queue line yet, I can just jump in and meet him. So I'm going to run over and look at the entrance for, um, what's it called? Rise of the Resistance, that's it. Um, I'm going to look at the entrance, see how they're like operating with the groups and everything, um, see if we can ride it. Oh. 
We will arrest you, and if you don't work with us, we will take you in for questioning. If there's one Jedi left, it's not you. Oh, we're Jedi! Oh, sorry. Thank you. Move back. Anyone with this treason will be questioned. You will be taken in for interrogation. And you, this time, we'll go back. The next time we see you with this thing, the Supreme Leader himself will tell you that you understand. He's careful with the Legion's path. The First Order will not be questioned. Anyone working against us will be branded a traitor. Out of my way. Keep moving. Well then, that's an immersive experience. Okay. Good job. Uh, with that dude. He did like a really, really good job. Everyone, like legitimately, you could tell that every, every time like he like yelled at the dude, everyone was like, oh my God. Um, so, I mean, that's what he's supposed to do. Um, good job uh, for all of the actors in um, Galaxy's Edge. You guys are doing a really good job. Um, but anyways, right now I am going to check out the Rise of the Resistance line, like I was saying see um, kind of like what everything looks like um, just how they're doing it with the boarding groups seeing if we can get on even though our boarding group isn't until a lot later so um, yeah we'll, we'll see now this looks super cool all right I think we're going this way from what I know all right here we are. Let's see. Okay. So there are many, 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 many people um, who are basically making sure that everyone is, um, has a boarding group and everything. Um, so. They will check you in, um, and then, oh, check you in, and then you go on through here and into the entrance. Apparently you need, um, I guess, to scan a magic band, um, or some sort of card, or whatever you have, um, so that you can go, go on in to Rise of the Resistance. Here's the Millennium Falcon line loops over and over again, goes all the way down there, all the way back this way. I'm gonna kind of follow it as it goes this way. Official line now. Yay! <laughs> there we go. Now this looks awesome. Alright, so since my dad got in line, it has been two hours. So, yeah, hopefully we're close. But, yeah, since my dad has been in line, it's been two hours in line waiting for this rush. So, that's kind of a little time check. Um, and if you see the line where it was for us, then be prepared to wait up to like two, three hours for the ride. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, I'll update you guys once we're like pretty much on the ride. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Move along, my friends. Listen carefully and remember, 
the better you work together, the more you earn your lives and my profit depends on it. Now go, 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 go. Your crew. Two. Two, excellent. You mean my engineers with the purple credentials, please? Ooh, right four. this way. I'm an engineer. Oh snap. Whoa. Uh, let me guess. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Now get the move on and know that I have complete faith in you. But I am coming along with you just in case. Left pilot, get the boosters. Now let's go get that coaxial. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. these types of rides um, it like kind of gives you the illusion that you're doing something but you're actually not um, like you're pulling stuff and it like you know doesn't really do anything um, but on this ride you actually were controlling it a decent amount um, and it was also a pretty long ride um, I think the full video clip of me like filming it was five minutes which is pretty good for a ride like five minutes is pretty good um, so especially a ride that we waited like two and a half hours for. So overall, I'm happy with that experience. Good ride. Um, and now we're going to go check on Rise of the Resistance and see if they'll let us on, maybe. Um, but we'll see. If not, I might be able to um, come back another day and do it. It's Chewbacca. Well, this is interesting. Okay. So my dad and I are going to try to get on Rise of the Resistance. Will it work? No idea. But we'll try. So we'll see, I guess. So guys, you might realize that we're like on the other side of the park now. Um, basically, we went up to the entrance of Rise of the Resistance and they said that we 100% need a reservation in order to go on the ride which kind of sucks, um, but hopefully we will be able to tonight. If, um, if we are able to, then I will make a separate video on it, um, basically just like reviewing it and my experience with it, all of that kind of stuff. So look for that coming up, um, and hopefully, if, hopefully I'll be able to. Um, but anyways, uh, I did, we are sorry, my dad and I were going to film a spin the wheel video, um, but we realized that all of the rides are packed um, and we wanted to wanted to get out of this park um, by three and it is already three um, and we've only done one wheel spin. So um, we're just going to leave. Um, really quickly though, I do want to show this footage of um, my dad and I going on Star Tours, um, which was super, super fun. All right, we are at Star Tours, and we are going on into the entrance. Gotta love switchbacks, right? 
Everyone loves switchbacks. Bruh. Jeez. Star Tours agent. Oh, You'll yes. be boarding in just a few moments. Thank you. Alrighty. It is time. Let's do it. But now I'm going to end this video here. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely smash the thumbs up button. Basically, um, I will be making another video today, and it is another video from Disney World. Um, I'm going to be doing a little randomizer decides my day. Um, so right after we leave this park, I'm going to click the randomizer, um, Animal Kingdom or Magic Kingdom, and it'll um, say which one I, we should go to, and then basically go from there. Um, it'll choose what rides we do, all of that kind of stuff. If you want to see that video, click right up there in the corner. Um, but anyways, for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace out. Nope, that's not right.